It may seem hard to believe, but this was once one of the safest and liveliest parts of Brightwood. All that remains now are my memories. Very sad ones, I'm afraid. <laughs> and now, even those are starting to fade. The town of Walsham fell to the lost. It's been more years than I can count. Believe it or not, the wedding was on this very spot. A moment I never want to forget. He was the love of my life. Yes, he fell to despair. I had too much pride for that. I picked up and started over many times since. Now, I just want those memories. If you venture into town, I'd love you to recover some of my old keepsakes. You managed to find all these pieces of my past, even my old diary. It's sad, isn't it? Or it should be. Reading this is like visiting a, an old friend. It's, it's very emotional. But rather than making me sad, it's making me angry. 
You see, when the truth came out, everyone in town turned on me. The truth about my true love. I didn't tell you the whole story. The wedding that took place here. It wasn't where I married my true love. It's where I met him. Oh, it was mine. But my betrothed was dull as dirt. I don't even remember his name. Ah, Pastor Pruitt was the one who married us. He became the love of my life. Yes! No. Oh, I don't know anymore. Well, if you could confront him and see if there is any humanity left in him, I might be able to make my choice. <laughs> Tell me, did you see him? Did he seem miserable as a lost or actually at peace? What did you find? What is this? Let me see it then. What's this? He became lost to avoid facing me? Apparently he couldn't bear the town's shame and scorn. The coward. Well, Pastor. Maybe you have convinced me to live. Thank you. Hello? Oh, thank goodness. You're not one of the wandering lost. I'm Ethelvin, and you're the friendliest face I've seen all day. You don't need to tell me twice. The lost get violent when you poke through their houses. Oh, don't look at me like that. Everyone has to make a living. Reclaiming treasure. Brightwood's so full of graves it's hard to know where to start. Say if you're heading into the villages, could you thin out the lost and look for any records? They might contain clues. And I'll share anything I find with you. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Just about done reading through these records. My eyes are swimming, but it'll be worth it in the end. It has to be. You made that look easy. Have you been treasure hunting before? The handwriting in these records is awful, but I can puzzle it out. Then it's just a matter of matching up names with graves. Yes, maybe. I hope so. Some coffins in Brightwood weren't buried properly, if you catch my meaning. Let's start with the easy pickings and see what we find. The coffins should be pretty old by now, so a good push will force their lids off. Don't ask me how I know. Come <laughs> on. 
I had sought to seek support from rangers in other territories. But I think you and I can handle this. I do the reconnaissance, you carry out the assault. The main thrust of the corrupted operations here is the mission to supply their forces with armaments. They have a start-to-finish process underway, mining the ore and forging the weapons. The core of the operation is here in the mines and around the mill to the south. If you can cut the heads off both snakes, so to speak, they will be crippled.
Is that a basket? Oh, the color's still as bright as a robin's egg. There's, there's Fair, and I promised to split the treasure with you. You keep coin, and I'll take this basket. Well, you've been really helpful, and I'll want your help again in the future. Brightwood's overflowing with abandoned cemeteries. I'm sure I'll find something I like. Well done! They still control both locations, but it won't do them much good. But you look troubled. Did you discover something? Oh no. Master Smith McCoy? He went missing weeks ago. I called off the search for him when it became too dangerous. But I never dreamed. I can't dwell on past failures. The present peril is too great. The corrupted still have a major presence at Rita's borough. My thoughts exactly. We can warn the settlement later. We must strike hard and fast. I have been watching the corrupted forces' movements since they arrived. Yes, they seize this area to use it as a critical part of their supply chain for food and weapons. An army marches on its belly, so let's strike their food supplies first and destroy their hunters. Well done, friend. With their rations stolen and their hunters compromised, the corrupted will be hungry. Hungry soldiers are desperate soldiers, and desperate soldiers are sloppy. No, they don't want me. They've made that painfully clear. 
My wife Susan and I lived among them for decades in perfect harmony. Until a few months ago, one day they turned on us. Tore us both apart and feasted on our flesh. Susan, she became lost after that. I don't know why I'm still here, except for revenge. In fact, destroy a few of those beasts for me, and I'll reward you. Have you seen, really seen, the landscape of Grey Vale? The light falling through the leaves or dancing across the lakes. Oh! If only I had time to paint everything here. Uh, sadly, I don't have time to both find all the beautiful locations and paint them. Searching cannot be rushed, and it takes me so long to get my paints arranged just how I like them. But perhaps you could help. Hmm? You could go and find the most beautiful locations for me to paint. You will save me a lot of time if you set up an easel at each waterfall you find, then Come back and tell me about them. It will be perfect.
heard those bastards snarling and growling all the way down here. Why, we're only giving them what they deserve. Now, Susan and these bears are the only real family I ever had. Living out there, foraging for honey, hibernating. It's the only life I know. The only place I feel at home. Angry as I am, it's the only thing that feels right. I guess I could try. It was the Patriarch, Gren, that turned on us. If you can destroy Gren and recover Susan's ring, I might have a chance. Be careful, though. others, long enough that no one listens to old Bankole anymore. Then heed this. The Angry Earth's Bronze Root warriors seem to naturally repel the lost. With spores from them and bone dust from the lost, I could create a talisman to repel the lost without violence. <laughs>
What you have brought me is powerful, but it is not enough. We need something to refine the moss spores. Fortunately, I do. The angry earth have overrun ancient ruins to the south. There may still be rare reagents in the ruins, though you will have to cut a path through the dryads. <laughs> Alcahest, a potent alcahest. Perfect, perfect. I did not think anyone else would consider the plight of the lost. But you a potent alcahest. Perfect, perfect. I did not think anyone else would consider the plight of the lost. But you have. Thank you. The rushing water, the vague sunlight glints through the trees. Yes, yes, I can work with this. <laughs> now that you've marked these locations in my map, I have to get my paints in order. But it wouldn't do to get all ready to start, only to be missing the correct shade of blue. There's something to be said about the energy in moving water. The way it draws your eye and catches it. The power that just leaps off the canvas and fills a room. How dynamic it makes an image. How alive you feel when seeing it. How it moves even when still. Mm. I can already tell these waterfalls will be bestsellers. I'm going to need more locations. Yes! There are so many located in Grey Vale. It is a painter's paradise. I could use your discerning eye to find more waterfalls for my paintings. <laughs>
this uh, magnificent. Thank you for marking their locations on my map. I can only hope my waterfall paintings are able to compete with what is already out there. Uh, I'm not the only landscape painter on Eternum. Painter Cole is already famous for her Bear in Meadow and Mountain Dawn paintings, which are popular in the settlements. Hmm. Waterfalls are thrilling indeed, but I also like to paint more tranquil landscapes. There's nothing quite as soothing as staring at a placid lake. Don't you agree? It's almost magical. Nah, I've decided that my next collection of paintings will be of the local lakes. Something restful to the eye and calming to the soul. They are certain to be popular. I'll paint them too. I need to paint all of them in order to keep up with that overachiever, Cole. Please, find three inspiring lakes where you can place my easel. Superb! The locations you have chosen fit perfectly within the landscape. Like a slice of sky falling to the ground. Painting these lakes will be a joy. And Cole hasn't painted anything like them yet. Hmm, <laughs> no. I will be the first to paint these lakes soon. My name will be known as the Painter of Lakes and Waterfalls. Thank you for marking these in my map. I can't wait to get to work. <laughs> Do you, Sunset Traveler? The force of life rides on the breeze from the south. The only vibrant flora remaining in these dead lands. If you are headed that way, I could use a favor. The soullessness of the lost has ravaged Brightwood for centuries. Some say the land is cursed, but the angry earth thrived down there, despite all the death around them. The angry earth have many secrets, but the one I seek is related to a tea they drink. The bronze root of the verdant cavern carries special tea leaves, and there is a particular sap they use as sweetener.
them then oh yes these leaves are perfect the tea i can brew from these leaves well i am not even sure of all of its properties now it is time for you to repay my generosity the secrets of the angry earth are not lightly shared and i have need of your strength no you do not wish to slash burn and loot is that not what your kind does? No matter. You must defeat a dryad named Saren. It's a long and tiresome tale. Uh, but if you insist, I will tell it to you. After you have fought Saren and brought me his Akin. <laughs>
Theron is gone, and you have restored the true order here. If you wish it, you have earned the whole truth. Mind your manners, human. Before Theron, I was guardian of the Azoth tree. With him gone, and a powerful brew of tea, I can assume my proper form and place. 